Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on the video of the Jordan Spizike 3M. I'll give you guys a quick look at the label on the box. The pair I have here is a size 10 US and the colorway is black, challenge red, metallic silver, and tour yellow. This shoe actually releases in this colorway on March 2nd, 2013. So a few weeks from now, it's not out yet. I had the opportunity to buy them pretty much at retail before the release. So I jumped at the opportunity and I'm really happy that I did that because these are some really nice shoes in person. This is a colorway of the Spizike that was actually leaked online, I want to say four to five months ago. And then we saw nothing of it ever since until about a week or two ago, they actually uh, have an official release date now, which like I said, is March 2nd. Um, as far as this colorway goes, I've heard some people give some mixed opinions on it. Um, a lot of people didn't like it as far as I saw, uh, but I personally was a big fan of it from the start. And it's one of those colorways that after seeing it in person, I like it 10 times more than I originally did because it really is nice. Um, the combination of materials, the textures, the 3M on the upper, which is always cool. This shoe just looks a lot better in person than the online photos. You guys are just going to have to trust me on that. I'm not sure how it's going to show up on video, but if you want some high quality images of this guy, I'll leave a link in the description to the review page on my website if you want to get a better idea of the details on the shoe. Because like I said, it's really, really nice. As far as the Spizike goes itself, if you're not familiar with this particular line of Jordan shoes. It's technically not a retro, although it does have retro styling to it, as you can see, which I will explain a little bit later. Um, but the Spizike is kind of like a collaboration shoe between Spike Lee, who's a famous film director, and obviously Jordan brand. Um, I believe they originally came out with the Spizike in 2006, or it might have been 2008. Uh, either way, I could be wrong there. And it was originally came out as like a charity shoe. All There was I believe four, four, between four and 5,000 pairs sold and all the profits went to charity. I'm not sure if it's still a charity shoe, but we've seen Spizikes being released sporadically every month or two for the last couple of years anyways. And it's become one of the more popular uh, runs of Jordan shoes nowadays, especially for the younger generation. I guess a lot of the, the guys who are into the retros um, don't really go for the Spizike. They feel like it's messing with the original designs but I kind of view it as a cool thing because they've kind of incorporated all of these classic iconic designs into one single shoe and I think it works well. Um, I'm always happy to see a Jordan shoe that isn't just black white and red because you see so many of those nowadays and uh, while you can't knock on the black white and red colorways um, it's nice to see something different once in a while at least that's my opinion. As far as the, this shoe goes like I said it's a combination of a couple different retro Jordans. The Spizike is a combination of the threes, the fours, the fives, the sixes, the nines and the twenties and I'll go through all of the elements on the shoe right now. If we start off with the threes on this shoe the threes is going to be the midsole as you can see it's black on the top and then it's actually this metallic silver which is really cool. You have the visible air unit that's actually yellow on the inside. The front half of the midsole sole is uh, that tour yellow colorway which really looks good and then of course the black wraps all the way around the inside as well the sole like I said is again from the Jordan 3 you have this hit of yellow mainly white then this hit of red right here it says Jordan right there in red then you have the little stars going around the toe and then the other element of the Jordan 3 is going to be the um, elephant print on the toe and heel there you can see the toe you have this elephant print in that kind of metallic silver color very light kind of almost blends into the 3m but it's not actually 3m so just keep that in mind then you have the elephant print going around the heel as well again really good quality the materials on this shoe are actually a lot nicer than i expected them to be the part that is the fours on this shoe is obviously the wing here with this little plastic waffle on the end um, very recognizable piece of um, the Jordan 4, probably the most uh, the most noticeable thing on this shoe, in my opinion, really makes the shoe a lot nicer than it, if it was not there, in my opinion. Um, obviously, uh, the 5 on here is going to be the silhouette as a whole, as well as the little panels in the middle, these kind of mesh, plasticky, clear panels you have on the outside, as well as the inside. They are cut down a little bit because you do have this little strip running around the uh, outside edge, kind of as a mud guard, and that is where you're going to find that 3M material. Very reflective. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on uh, video because I do have it um, the lighting pretty good here but if you do want to check out those pictures on the review page of my website I will have some 3M reflective pictures where you can get a better idea of that. Like I said it has the silhouette of the 5 you have the lacing system of the 5 as you guys can see and then of course those little kind of ankle bumps here just like you would on the 5 same cut on the as far as height goes as well 
Um, the sixes, you're gonna have the lace lock on there of the sixes, as well as the five. I guess the five includes the lace lock as well. And then of course you have that Jordan six tongue with the two cutouts, says Jordan right there in black. Really big fan of that. I love the Jordan six tongue. And I think it looks really cool on the Spizike. Um, the nine, pretty straightforward. You have this little teal tab on the back with a plastic uh, little logo. This is actually Spike Lee's uh, production company. It's called 40 Acres and a Mule. And then on the other shoe, you're actually gonna have this Spike Lee logo. This is kind of him with that little Brooklyn hat. That's when he was involved in uh, some of the Jordan brand commercials way back in the day. I wasn't really around to see those. I kind of watched some of them on YouTube. Pretty funny, but you have both of his logos there on these shoes. So again, a kind of a, a nice touch. And then of course the 20s, they're not really incorporated on the newer versions of the Spizikes. If you look at some of the older models, or even I, I'm assuming they're going to do it eventually, they have kind of like this laser etched um, kind of print on the liner as well as the insole. Um, none of the recent releases of the Spizike actually have this laser etching. So it's supposed to incorporate elements from the 20, but it doesn't actually have it on any of the current or the last couple of colorways they've released anyways. As far as extra elements on the shoe that are concerned, you do have this little lace cover here um, that's in that 3M material with the uh, Jordan stitched in in red. And then you do have this little piece of 3M here on the back of the heel as well. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as the shoe goes itself. I know the different pieces pieces of it, um, combining all kinds of different retro Jordans. I really like the concept. I really like the look of this Bizike. But again, that's pretty much it. Um, one last thing I want to touch on is the material itself. This black section on the upper is uh, a very high quality Nubuck material. Really, really soft. Um, really nice. Probably some of the nicest Nubuck I've ever felt, in my opinion. Has kind of like this shadowy to, shadowiness to it. Kind of has a, a nice little bit of grain to it. And then, of course, this is a Nubuck as well. Um, and then this 3M material has that smooth 3M finish on there, which again, feels really, really nice. Can't really complain about the quality on this shoe at all. You have the mesh tongue, um, and that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot of clear on here, so you don't have to worry about it yellowing, other than this panel here on the outside and the inside. And for the most part, I think this is a really good looking colorway. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing goes, and we'll move on to a quick on feet. All right, here's a look at the Jordan Spizikes on feet while wearing a pair of shorts. I have them laced up two different ways as you guys can see. On the right foot I'm using the lace lock and then on the left foot I remove the lace lock and just lace them up normally. I personally think it looks pretty good either way but uh, if I were to wear these I definitely would be using the lace lock simply because I just like the look of it. As far as wearing these guys with a pair of shorts goes, um, in this particular colorway I think it works really really well. It has that Jordan 5 silhouette so it is a little bit higher cut but it's not too bad. So again, it depends on what you like, what you normally wear. And if you did want to wear these with shorts, you definitely can get away with it. One thing I also noticed about these shoes after wearing them a little bit is that they're really lightweight, uh, surprisingly light for um, the shoe type of shoe that it is. I expected them to weigh a lot more. Um, but again, like I said, they're really lightweight, really comfortable. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, so that's enough as far as what they look like with shorts. And I'll give you a look at them now with a pair of pants. With a pair of pants, these shoes look really good in my opinion. Again, I have them laced up two different ways, one with the lace lock, one without, and uh, for the most part, I think it looked good both ways. I really like this particular colorway. The red and the yellow really accent well. Then you have that nice quality black nubuck with the yellow accent stitching, and then of course the 3M. Just really makes this a unique shoe. I also love the metallic silver midsole on here. Really is unique. You don't see that all that often. Um, as far as sizing goes, these definitely do run true to size. Obviously, I'm wearing a 10 here, which is a half size larger than I normally wear, but for the most part, they fit pretty well, and I'm, I'm happy with the sizing. So if you didn't want to go to half size up in these, I wouldn't say that it's out of the question. They definitely don't fit um, too big, a half size larger. So it just depends on what size you're able to get or what size that you want. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my review plus on-feet video of the Jordan Spizike in the 3M colorway. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up a pair of these or if you're just going to pass on them. I'm personally a really big fan of this colorway, but like I said, I've heard some mixed opinions, so I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about them. If you do want to pick up a pair of Spizikes right now, I will have buy it now links to whatever is available on the review page of my website. So if you do want to check that out, there will be a link down below in the description. On that same review page, you're going to find the high quality images of this guy. That'll give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person, as well as some pics of the 3M working. So go ahead and check that out if that does interest you. If you have any questions regarding this shoe, feel free to leave me a comment down below. 
And if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. If you did enjoy today's video and you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that, hit that subscribe button for a couple videos a week on some sneaker reviews or whatever it might be. Lifestyle gear, some watches, going to do some headphones later. So again, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Other than that, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is Josh. Just like this channel name, minus the two, you can go ahead and look me up. Or again, the link will be found down below in the description. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.